these same things in your life growing up. And so I think of them and I think of their history and my great grandparents and all those early immigrants that came into this country and what they went through and how other groups and organizations thought of them. You know, back then, the early Portuguese were not the doctors. They were not the attorneys. There were rarities when we had people of our background with those titles. They had not been part of the academy. So we had very few in higher education. But as Representative Cabral said, it was okay for them to be on the front line, defending the values and the Constitution that we hold so dearly here in America. And they were proud to fight for, to defend those freedoms that we sometimes take for granted. So my message to everyone here today, in particular the honorees, and to all those that have joined us, I was going to ask you to raise your hands, I won't do that. Because I know that many people here today have felt the feeling that happens when you may speak with a little bit of an accent. Or there's a name that your own that may not be appreciated as the next. We're not the only group that went through this. The early Irish went through it. We see it happen with all kinds of groups and organizations. But you know what? We're one of the few groups that do not stand up publicly and call it for what it is. It is ethnic discrimination, is what it is. And I ask you, when you're here today, when you leave here today, anytime you should see that ugly type of thing take place in our communities across Massachusetts, let us stand up and call it out for what it is. Years ago, we did not have the candidates to be medical doctors. You, saw, you just saw a whole range of young leaders in Portugal that are going to be medical doctors. And countless numbers here in America and in Massachusetts. Countless legal scholars countless people like João Parasquela and Frank Souza and so many others that could lead any higher education institution here in Massachusetts. We have leaders that have stood up over and over and over again. People like Luis Pedroso who is sitting here, a very successful entrepreneur that has not forgotten where he comes from, but rather invests in the future of Massachusetts and invests in the future of the Portuguese American community. The same thing with the honorary today, Mark Four, and his family that has done that over and over again. So I ask all of you, when you see one of us, 
one of us that gets discriminated against. Stand up. Call it up. And let the community know about it. Because until that happens, we will not be able to get to the next level. We are so close to getting to the next level. As a Portuguese American society here in America, we should not tolerate injustice. We should not tolerate it when we hear from our leaders. When I question a number of times that we should have more Portuguese Americans on the bench in the judiciary of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Nobody can tell me any longer that we don't have qualified legal people, lawyers, that are qualified to be able to serve on the bench of our courts today. That's not true. We have them. We have to have the recommendation come forth from the executive branch. Do you agree with me? And, and nobody, can tell me, nobody can tell me that we don't have qualified people to serve in administrative posts, in higher education posts, in presidents of colleges and universities in this state. We have those people. They're qualified, and they should be selected if they are qualified. So my message today is similar to that of Representative Brown. Let us leave here today recommitted to making sure we have nominees in the future that represent our collective values. But individually, we have a responsibility in our own communities. There are other organizations in our society that represent other ethnic groups. And I can tell you, and I don't blame them, when they see something going wrong, they stand up and call it out. And then the people that are either intentionally or unintentionally discriminating have to start explaining what they're doing to that group of people that we call Americans that are here. So let us think about our ancestors, let us think about the success that we all enjoyed, but let us most importantly think about our collective future together. So I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank all those that were part of organizing today's festivities. It was extraordinary this year. And one more round of applause for all 